Okay. Listening to music because I found that music slows my racing mind down like quite a bit. It's different uh, frequencies, um, like pain frequencies. Oh, uh, so I've lost quite a bit of weight in. 10 day, today's day 10, or day 9, I think 9, I don't think it's 10 yet, <laughs> last night was by far the worst, and yeah, if you can see, I have like, my face is, I've dropped like 20 pounds in a week, I'm like, oh, fuck, if you couldn't see, my mom would be wearing again now, um, I miss my little chubby round cheeks and little wobble chin it's gone but all right so this is mostly like oh my god my face I'm not sure why my my teeth I mean they tell you it's a myth methadone doesn't come out of your system I mean I, like it doesn't get in your bones but I mean, they also tell you a lot of shit that uh, isn't fucking true, so it feels like it's coming out of bones. I know this is cartilage, but there's bone underneath. Oh, I don't know even know where the pain's coming from. It's like, it hurts here and then here, and it's like, in the pins and needles and the restless arms and legs, I feel... The pins and needles are from low blood pressure. I have two five pound weights. The restless arms just sit here and I just pump my arms up and down with both of the um, weights. I am in my daughter's room because it's closest to the bathroom and I'm not sure, actually, how my pupils are doing, but I'm still hallucinating. Um, and I haven't slept, as you can see. I look like total fucking dog crap. But shout out to the Sativa sisters. Thank you for dropping off a bunch of edibles. I ate a 100 milligram chocolate bar, a whole thing of nuts the protein in the nuts and did i chip my tooth no it's just the lighting okay i look like a little mouse um it's just the lighting anyway um so i've been taking potassium for the muscle cramping and magnesium potassium magnesium um, the, yeah, the pins and needles and the restless legs like to get over that exercise. I can't really get up, so the only exercise I'm doing is what I just showed you. I really don't, I know I'm going to lose more weight. I really don't want to lose more weight. I worked so hard for a whole year building all this muscle. Now, I'm just going to disintegrate away to nothing. Um, but, I get it. Um, methadone binds to your fat cells, so... And I did notice most of the people telling me that they were sick for three months were bigger. And they were, some of them were men. So, of course, they're, they're bigger than me. Um, so, as I metabolize pretty fast, so, I don't know, I'm just, I'm gonna be okay, I'm doing fine, I'm getting better, I think last night was the worst, I hope it was, I mean, this morning, the pins and needles and the restless legs and arms, they're coming and going, they're not a constant, so I think, I think that I'm getting through, almost, 
almost getting through this shit. Four more days. I can make it four more days. I've made it. I've made it past a week, so I can make four more days. I got this. But I wanted to um, relay on <laughs> some things I've learned and some things that have helped me. Because, like I said in the first video I made, I couldn't find any buddy who cold turkeyed off methadone. So, um, I just am so excited to be able to do my content again. Um, also, I can't stop crying, but it feels good. It's like all those years of suppressing my emotion every time he would abuse me, you know, I would make myself not cry every time he hit me. I would never let him see me cry, so all those years also have my kill your local pedophile t-shirt on so you know all that fucking drama right i forgot people wanted to know why i started doing pills and heroin at the age of 14 in the first place there's a reason i have a bazillion of these shirts let's just say some adults don't always have the best intentions for children in mind you can probably put two and two together I don't really want to talk about it but some trauma an alcoholic abusive father which led me to a drug addict abusive boyfriend six years I thought it was normal to get cigarettes put out on my skin. I didn't even know I was being abused. I thought it was fucking normal. That is fucking crazy. Maybe the worst. I don't know. He got it in his head one night, I think, that I cheated on him or something. And I remember I was asleep. And he woke me up by dumping Listerine on my face. So I was blinded the second I opened my eyes. And, um, I'm gonna wait for her to go all the way down the stairs because I'm not gonna talk badly about her father in front of her, even though he is a piece of shit. Anyway, I woke up instantly blinded, listering, burns, stings, so I couldn't see. And he dragged me out of bed by my fucking hair and forced my mouth open and shoved all the contents of a fucking ashtray. I mean, there was gum, loogies, fucking, obviously, butts, ash. And then he punched me, so I had to swallow it and drag me down the fucking hallway. So, I mean, there's just, I, I, I'm not gonna, there's just way too much to talk about, like, in this little snippet of why I even started doing drugs. I couldn't escape him. I couldn't go away. He, would, he got rid of all my friends. That's what they do. They cut you off. Fucking. He had my parents thinking I was this worst, this awful fucking person. And you know what? The only escape. It's not even a fucking excuse. <sighs> my mom warned me because my father was an alcoholic that I had an alcohol gene. So, I didn't drink. I started doing pills because I thought I won't be an alcoholic if I don't drink. But the mental... <laughs> once you take... When you're an addict, the, the frontal part of your fucking lobe is forever changed. And... Most people battling addiction that you shit all over have some kind of crazy fucking trauma attached to it and if I can help either side of this people that love addicts or the addicts then I have done my what I set out to do by recording and vlogging my entire methadone detox a couple of days I left out because I just don't think y'all are ready for that I said I would keep it raw and real, I have, but I just think some things are too fucking real to put online. Like, I'm not about to show what comes out of my body. Um, 
maybe if I did, it would scare you a little bit more. But I'm all set with having that on the internet forever. <sighs> Music. Fucking edibles. People keep saying benzos and suboxone and... Bleh. But the whole point is for me to not have a crutch. And also, people are getting confused. Maybe I was being too vague, but I lost my sister to an overdose. I relapsed. And I put myself in the clinic because I know I was an addict. I was sober for eight years, clean, almost eight years, lost all that. And one day, because I was so mad, I don't know how to fucking grieve. I don't know how to handle emotions because I've always stuffed them inside and used a crutch. And so I put myself in the methadone clinic and took classes on how to grieve. And they didn't help, but um, I actually think this detox because I have cried every day for the past 10 days. I feel like it's just 10 years of emotion coming out and it feels good. It does, it feels so good to let it out. So I am, don't let people tell you cry, it makes you weak. It doesn't, it makes you stronger. Also, your body cries because there's hormones in your tears. So if you don't let it out, all that shit builds up into your body. Um, so yeah, for the restless legs and shit, potassium, magnesium, um, mm, I should use the weight in my hand when I do that because it looks like I'm jerking off a ghost. But yeah, all night I just pumped iron, five pounds of it, and smoked and ate my edibles. I mean, I think I got five minutes of sleep last night. It's better than zero. Um... I just, it's mindset too. Just keep saying in your head over and over, or even out loud. I've had to do it out loud. I'm gonna be okay. I'm fine. I got this. I'm good. It's not as bad as I think. It's not as bad as people are telling me. It's not that bad. It's okay. I'm trying to give you realistic, um, To be honest, is everybody scared the shit out of me saying I was going to be sick for three, four months, seven weeks type of shit, but I don't, I'm only 25% body fat because I work out, so my body, obviously, my metabolism is fast, so the last time I did this, that's, <laughs> that's how I got off heroin fucking eight years, nine years ago, I went to a clinic and, uh, I was there for about a year, and I cold turkeyed off 150. I was only sick one fucking night. I was also 21, <laughs> 31 now, so maybe. They also say the second time, the third time, fourth time. I forget what the fucking actual term is called, but shit. I, I don't know. I'll have to look it up and put it. I'll pin it down in the thing. Um, ooh, see the cold sweats? I got that. I can handle that. I like it. I like it. It's, it kind of reminds me of when I used to fucking draw Molly all the time when I was a teenager. You know, the, the sensation of sweating and then the cold air coming. It's okay. That I got. Really, the things that I can't handle were the, the tingling pins and needles and the restless fucking arms and my face. I want to fucking punch it so bad it hurts. But yeah, no, I can't go too far from the toilet either and I know that's fucking gross but that's just the fucking reality of it people. So I have to lay right here next to the toilet. I'm not about to fucking shit myself in front of people. No. Um, anyway, 14 minutes long. This was supposed to be a quick update. I need to smoke. And I'll be back. And I'm sorry I couldn't update last night because last night was just... You would just have seen me slopping myself everywhere because I was fucking going nuts because of the tingling and the 
RLS arms and legs. I don't even know if it's restless. If what the fuck? It definitely feels like the methadone is coming out of my bones. So, literally, you would have watched a video of me just slapping myself and screaming why at God. So, thank you all again for being here with me today. These, I would um also suggest these vlogs have helped me keep track of the days. And those are the days I'm like, I've gotten through. I've gotten through nine fucking days. I've done nine days. I've did it. I can get through nine more. So, anybody, like, if I can do it, and I've been on drugs most of my life, you can do it too. I love y'all so much. My little chill pills, my cheap ones, my free ones. My legal ones. I love you all. I'll see you tonight. Hopefully. Um. Because my symptoms are kind of coming and going right now. Um. So. I'll definitely check back in. I'm not sure if I just said that. 